everybody, welcome back. So today I'm doing all of the books that I plan to read in the month of April. So I read four physical books and the first one is... First one is Before They Were Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. This is the second book in the First Law Trilogy. This follows three, kind of three main characters. And it's a fantasy. I really like the first book. And I've just heard that this is like one of the greatest trilogies ever. And so I'm excited to see what happened. In the first book, there wasn't a whole lot of plot. So I think the plot picks up in this one. Next book I want to read is The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. This is a historical fiction. I believe it takes place in like 1959. It's about a preacher who decides to take his family to Africa and don't know much more about it than that. It has good reviews. The next one would be The Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This is the second book in the Farseer trilogy. This follows Fitz, who is the bastard son of a prince, and he is forced to be an assassin. For the for the royal line and the first book was really good it just kind of seems like he is put through a lot of crap and he just kind of has to live with it and deal with it and then the last physical book i'll be picking up is called the sparrow this one's by mary doria russell and this is a science fiction i think it's first contact with aliens i think there's something like there's this group of people who go out to meet the aliens and only one comes back and they won't talk about the experience whether it's good or bad or something in between. So I'll be picking that up. And then I'll pick up four ebooks on my Kindle. The first one would be The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Cowell. This is kind of a sci fi historical fiction mix. In, in 1952, there was a meteor that I guess is going to wipe out the world. And these are the people who are supposed to save the world from extinction. So it's kind of an alternate history, science fiction, that kind of thing. Next one I'll pick up is called When the Moon Was Ours. This is by Anna Marie Lamora. This is a YA fantasy about, I believe, two girls. I, one of the girls can control plants, and I'm not sure if the other one has any special abilities or not. And it, I guess it's just their story. I think they're kind of ostracized from the town. I'm not sure. I'll I'll find out, I guess. The next one I'll pick up is called The Titans. This is by John Jakes. This is a historical fiction. It's a trilogy. This is the fifth one in the trilogy. It's, uh, I think the thing I like most about it is that it's a historical fiction that is not about World War II because I feel like I've read so many about World War II and this one at least is not. But each one follows a different family member. The first one took place in the Revolutionary War. The fourth one was the Alamo. I'm not sure if this one is the Civil War or not, or if that's the next one. But we'll see. The only kind of downside I think of all this, of all of his books, is that he has to be involved in every major thing that happens. And I don't think it's possible for like one family to have people involved in every thing, important aspect of history. But it's I'm still enjoying them. Da, da, da. <laughs> Caesar, what are you doing? Hey, doggy. <laughs> All the doggies want to be in the video today. Okay, go on, go on, go lay down, go on. And the fourth ebook that I'm going to pick up is called Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is kind of a science fiction fantasy mix. I know it has something to do with a society that is involved with colors and whatever color of the caste that you are that determines your level in society and apparently the red caste is the lowest level. Heard great things about it and I'm excited to see. My professional reading book this month is called Treating Addicted Survivors of Trauma by Katie Evans. I presume it's just exactly what the title says, talking about treating people who have been traumatized with addictions. I guess that's why it fits into my job. I usually listen to at least three audiobooks, one with my kids and then one, two just with me. But this month I'm gonna listen to Shogun by James Clavel. This is a historical fiction Asian inspired story. It's super long, so I'm not sure if I'll get to any other audiobooks this month. And then the last audiobook that I'll be listening to with my kids will be A World Without Heroes by Brandon Mull. And this is the first book in his Beyonder series. 
don't know really what it's about, but I really liked Fable Haven, so I hope that this one's awesome. So these are the books I plan to pick up in April. Thanks for joining me. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.